Thank you, Madam Speaker. I ask unanimous consent that all members have five legislative days to revise and extend their remarks and include extraneous material on the subject of my special. Without objection. Thank you. 29 days ago, on January 6th of 2021, insurrectionists attacked our capital, seeking to overturn the results of our nation's election. 29 days ago, the glass in and around this very chamber was shattered by gunshots, clubs, by individuals seeking to restrain and murder members of Congress duly elected to carry out the duties of their office. 29 days ago, Officer Sicknick, who just laid in honor yesterday in our nation's capital, was murdered on the steps just outside this hollowed floor. Two Capitol Police officers have lost their lives since, in addition to the four other people who died on the events of January 6th. 29 days ago, food service workers, staffers, children, ran or hid for their lives from violence deliberately incited by the former President of the United States. Sadly, less than 29 days later, with little to no accountability for the bloodshed and trauma of the sixth, some are already demanding that we move on, or worse, attempting to minimize, discredit, or belittle the accounts of survivors. In doing so, they not only further harm those who were there that day and provide cover for those responsible, but they also send a tremendously damaging message to survivors of trauma all across this country, that the way to deal with trauma, violence, and targeting is to paper it over, minimize it, and move on. Sadly, this is all too often what we hear from survivors of trauma as the reason why they don't get care, that what they experienced wasn't bad enough or too bad to talk about, or that they are afraid of being invalidated, accused of exaggeration, or making a mountain out of a molehill. As a result, thousands, if not millions, deny themselves the care that they need and deserve, the care that they need and deserve to live better lives. 29 days ago, our nation's capital was attacked. That is the big story. And in that big story reside thousands of individual accounts, just as valid and important as the other. Tonight, for this special order, we will begin to hear and commit to the congressional record just some of those many stories. I thank my colleagues who have bravely come forward today to share their accounts. And with that, I yield to my friend, Mr. Welch from Vermont.